If you are planning a cataract surgery or refractive lens exchange, it is important for you to know what the difference between different IOL technologies and what is the best IOL for you to fit your individual visual needs. Hi there! My name is Alex and you are at Eye Surgery Explained channel made by an expert with 25 years of experience in ophthalmology. In this short video, I will explain you key difference between monofocal, multifocal or EDUF intraocular lenses which are used to replace your natural crystalline lens in order to restore your vision if you have a cataract or to improve your vision by a refractive lens exchange procedure if you have a myopia, hyperopia or astigmatism. So let's have a look. Let's start first with so-called monofocal IOL. First of all, you have to know that our eye is an optical system which contains two special lenses. First lens is our cornea, located in the front of the eye. And the second lens, probably more important than the cornea, is so-called crystalline lens, located inside of the eye, which helps to focus sharp images on the retina. By the way, if you don't know what is retina, retina is light-sensitive tissue of the eye, which allows you to see an image like a sensor in digital camera. So, if your natural lens becomes cloudy due to cataract, it has to be replaced to restore your vision by an artificial lens, so-called intraocular lens. And now I will show you the difference between three main IOL types. And we're gonna start with monofocal IOL. Monofocal IOL is the simplest IOL type available on the market, which allows you to focus only at one distance. One distance with monofocal IOL usually means just far distance. Monofocal lenses enable patients to see clearly at distance. It means that with monofocal IOL you can have a good vision without glasses just for far vision. But if you will need your vision up close, for example to read something or look at your smartphone, you will need so-called reading glasses to focus your vision at closer distance. But if glasses is not for you after eye surgery, you will definitely need another type of IOL so-called presbyopia correcting IOL, which will give you ability to see a different distance from your eye without use of glasses. Therefore, please subscribe to my channel now and turn on notification not to miss my next videos, because in my next videos I will explain you more about different IOL types, I will show you deep review of different popular IOL models and so on. Presbyopia correcting IOL. You have to know that among presbyopia correcting IOLs, there are two different types of lenses which are made using different technologies and therefore giving you different quality of vision and different vision experience. So let's dig deeper into these technologies and find out which one is best for you. And I will start with multifocal IOL. Multifocal IOLs divided into two different types. One is bifocal and another one is so-called trifocal lens. Bifocal lens gives the ability to see without glasses up close and at a far distance. However, you will have a gap in your so-called intermediate vision. Intermediate vision, it is a vision between 60 or 80 centimeters. It is a distance where you normally look at your computer screen or doing something at your arm lens. So if you will implant bifocal lens, but you will need your intermediate vision quite often and vision in a good quality, you will have to use eyeglasses to improve your vision at intermediate distance. To resolve this issue, you have another option. It is so-called trifocal IOL. And trifocal IOL allows you to see well in near, intermediate and far distances. Sounds good. But multifocal technology has certain drawbacks, which you have to know, in order not to be surprised by your vision quality in certain light conditions. Moreover, your brain has to adapt to these multiple focal points in order to understand how to deal with new images on your retina. Let me explain it by animation. So, let's talk about multifocal IOL principle. First of all, our crystalline lens has to focus far objects sharply on the retina. But when you look at near objects, it has to be focused sharply on the retina as well. In a young healthy eye before age of 40, this function is achieved by so-called accommodation of the eye, when the natural crystalline lens changes its shape, focusing closer objects sharply on the retina. If there is no accommodation in the eye, due to aging or due to monofocal IOL implanted, close objects are out of focus. To solve this problem, so-called multifocal IOLs has been invented. It is a special type of IOL with a specific grating on its surface, which creates multiple focal points to give you a sharp image of different distances. The simplest multifocal IOL, so-called bifocal IOL type, has only two focal points, one for far and one focal point for near. So, as you can see in this drawing, this lens is able to create sharp images of the far and close objects on the retina. With multifocal IOLs, each focal point is designed for objects at a certain distance. With multiple focal points, one image is in focus at a time. But due to the design of the lens and light properties, far images create blurred images when passing through close focal points. And same issue relates to near focal point. When the near objects pass through far focal zone, 
It creates blurred image on the retina as well. These additional images and light distribution between far and near focal point lowers the contrast of the image. Please have a look at words on the bottom of the image explaining high and low contrast. So actually with a multifocal lens we have blurred and sharp image on the retina simultaneously. So how is it possible to see clearly in this case? It is possible because we have our brain. Our brain has natural ability to distinguish blurred and sharp images. And our brain has an ability to suppress unsharp image, giving you to your perception a sharp one, which you pay attention at the time. To understand better how does it work, please have a look at this image. With the bifocal multifocal IOL, you will have at the same time on the retina two types of images. Image with a sharp far focus and blurred near focus. And same image with sharp near focus, but blurred far focus. And your intermediate vision will be also blurred. So to understand better, with the multifocal lens you will have a sharp image of the far image and sharp image of the close image. But intermediate image will be in a blurred zone with not as good visual quality, especially if you will work on a computer. Trifocal multifocal IOL has additional focal points for intermediate use. So in this case, as you can see in this example, you will have sharp image in the far, sharp image for work on the computer at intermediate distance, and sharp image for close-up reading. However, depending on particular IOL model, these distances of near and intermediate vision might vary. For example, with one trifocal model your best intermediate vision could be at the range of 60 cm, but with another IOL model the best intermediate vision could be at 80 cm. Please ask your doctor for more details about particular lens you are going to implant. Choosing a multifocal IOL you have to be aware about drawbacks of the technology. First one is so-called neuroadaptation. It means that your brain has to adapt, it has to be trained to understand different types of images for your perception. For some patients it takes few weeks, for some patients it takes too long for up to few months. Another issue is related to night driving. Some patients may experience so-called glare, halo and starburst effect when looking at light source during the night. You might see this visual effect due to brain adaptation and therefore nobody knows how your brain will react to the light sources. For some patients it's bothersome, for other people it's not so bothersome. Majority of patients doesn't have problems with this kind of side effects. However, some patients suffer too much from these effects and sometimes even asking to replace the intraocular lens. I hope that this animation worked well for you. But if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask in the comments below and I will try to explain you to the best of my knowledge. So, as you can see with the multifocal IOL you have two issues. First one is your brain adaptation, another one is the quality of vision in dim light conditions. Have you subscribed? Ok, and there is another type of IOL on the market, so called EDUF, designed to resolve these issues. However, it also has some drawbacks, so let's have a look. Ok, let's talk about EDUF IOL principle. EDUF means Extended Depth of Focus IOL. EDUF lens looks similar to multifocal lens, however, its grating works in a different way. EDUF IOL do not have multiple focal points. Therefore, your brain doesn't need to adapt to different types of images and deal with lower contrast sensitivity. As a contrary to multifocal IOL, it creates elongated focal point, which projects the whole area in front of you to the one sharp focal point on the retina. If you compare two types of images, multifocal on the left and EDUF to the right, you can see that multifocal image has two different focal points with blurred and sharp image, while EDUF lens has only one extended range, extended focus, with a sharp image of the whole area in front of you. By design, EDUF IOL doesn't have a gaps between focal points because it doesn't have focal points, so we can see sharply and clearly the whole distance from far to near. However, please note that due to design of EDUF lenses, your zone of functional near vision will begin slightly further from your eye compared to multifocal IOL. Regarding vision night effects with glare, halo or starburst, normally patients with EDUF lenses has less amount of these so-called night dysphotopsias. I have also a nice animation explaining this technology better. Please have a look. In multifocal IOLs, diffractive technology transmits the light in such a way that it converges at more than one focal point. Technis Symphony Diffractive Lens technology is optimized to transmit light over a range of distances. This is called constructive interference and results in an elongated focus. In addition, because of the elongated focus does not have the distinct focal points of a multifocal IOL, and as such does not have the distinct out-of-focus images that can lead to halo and glare. As a result, the incidence of nighttime halos and glare is low. Well, I hope that with EDUF lens it's more or less clear, but again, if something is unclear, don't hesitate to ask in comments below and I will try to help you to understand better. 
Well, as you can see with EDUF lens, you will have better contrast sensitivity, less issues with your brain adaptation. However, your near vision will not be as good as with trifocal lens, at least at the same distances. But your far vision will be much greater due to only one focal point with the EDUF lens. By the way, it's important to know that EDUF lenses have a different technologies on the market. And some EDUF lenses are true EDUF lenses, while others it's a combination of specific focal points of multifocal technology. And some companies actually produce modified multifocal lens and market them as EDUF lens, which might lead you to a misunderstanding of what exactly lens you put into your eye. Have you subscribed? So, I hope you understand now better about different eyewell options you have. And now it will be easier for you to select the proper eyewell which will fit your individual needs and your individual lifestyle. Thank you for watching and my name is Alex and I surgery explained channel. See you in the next video. Bye.